In this Camtasia 2022 tutorial, I'll show you how to add cursor path visual effects to a normal video that is a non-screen recording video in Camtasia. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. So uh, let's just begin from here. Let's remove that video. Let's just drag and drop a new video to the timeline. So there's our video. Uh, let's just, uh, you can actually bring it up slightly. How do we have it uh, big and all that? So if you play it, looks good, ATC. But let's assume uh, you wanted to show some form of CASA movement. This is potentially something that people have always requested. Now with screen recordings, that is uh, the, uh, this actually, uh, what are they called, T-Rec files. You get uh, the CASA movements available uh, when using the files because it's screen recording in Camtasia. But what if you wanted to add your own CASA effect to a normal video? It's pretty easy. And we can see the CASA path inside the visual effects. Scroll down slightly and you'll see the CASA path. Now, drag and drop it to your video. And it's actually going to be added as an effect. So, uh, pull this up. You'll see it here. Now, if you have uh, a CASA path added to this, then you can use it. Now, Let's just uh, see what this is. Just did, okay, control Z. Uh, and uh, we have a CASA path to work with here. Sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened there, but by default it had actually uh, a CASA path. So uh, let us see uh, to edit the CASA path. You see the CASA path starts from here. And from this section, video, uh, that is the video media, audio, and the CASA, you can actually scale the CASA to a bigger size. It's actually down here and it's actually from somewhere up there. So if I actually play this, you see it move from there to down there. So that is the path that we more or less want to change. You can actually now bring it back to the beginning uh, so that you have uh, the normal size of a CASA. Let's just click on edit CASA path and you can see that you have different points here where you can actually edit the CASA path. Let's say you want it to begin somewhere there. You can actually move uh, this as well. You can move this as well so that probably it moves from up, down, and then you can click on this and change whatever you want to change. Uh, pull this and then from this particular section you can also move your cursor so that if I press on control Z to undo, let's go back. If I play this, the cursor, let's actually change the size of the cursor slightly so that it is easily visible. Go back to the start. So the cursor, instead of moving extremely fast, let's move this slightly to this side. Go back to the beginning. It goes slowly depending on what you want your viewer to see and what effect you want to achieve in that particular CASA path that you've actually plotted. Now, from this CASA path, you can add different types of easing, that is the CASA movement between two points. Easing is both, is out, is none. Really awesome. You can restore the path to the original or you can just click on finish editing. Now, once you're done edit, uh, you click on finish editing, you have your CASA path available. Maybe you wanted to select one point here and finish at the last point there. Play that video and you'll see your cursor move in that particular uh, path that you've created for that particular cursor movement. And that is how you can add a cursor path to non-screen recordings in Camtasia 2022. That's it from me. My name is David. And until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thanks for watching.